approaches the score campaign. Close my eyes and hit it. Wow, what a golf shot. Expect anything different? This week, Shell's wonderful world of golf features two stars of the PGA Tour at a golfing gym near Florida's Sun Coast. Phil Mickelson, the world's number two player, takes on one of his nemesis, 2001 PGA champion David Toms. It's Mickelson versus Toms next on Shell's wonderful world of golf. This historic golf series began in the early 1960s and has spanned nearly 50 countries and seven continents, featuring head-to-head -head competition between the greatest golfers of their time. Welcome to the continuation of a golfing tradition. Welcome to Shell's wonderful world of golf. This week, we're at the World Woods Golf Club, just north of Tampa, Florida. The city of Tampa, with its bustling seaport and cosmopolitan atmosphere, is the centerpiece of Florida's Gulf Coast. Venture just 45 minutes north to the nature coast, and you've seemingly traveled back in time. Here, the Gulf of Mexico and the many unspoiled rivers that meander quietly are home to the endangered manatee species. Our destination today takes us near Hernando County, and the historic hamlet of Brooksville, the county seat since 1856, where moss grape trees offer a glimpse of a time long gone. We're at World Woods, one of the best golf facilities in the world today, a 1,200-acre mecca for golfers. There are two Tom Fazio design courses, Pine Barrens and Rolling Oaks, both quality layouts that, although built on the same land, are nothing at all alike. The name World Woods was conceived from the notion of bringing world-class golf to the masses. The architect has called this facility an amalgamation of Pine Valley and Augusta, with the world's best practice facility added just for fun. Today we'll be wandering among the sand hills and stately oaks of the Pine Barrens course that is continually ranked in the top 100 in the United States. Hello everybody, I'm Jack Whitaker. Welcome to Shell's wonderful world of golf. Today's match presents several contrasts. We have the world's best left-handed golfer in Phil Mickelson against a right-hander, David Toms. We have one of the most aggressive players that come on the tour since Arnold Palmer in Phil Mickelson. And we have a conservative type player in David Toms. They renew a sharp rivalry that began at the PGA Championship in 2001. They fought down the stretch neck and neck. At the final hole, David Toms had a one-stroke lead, but faced an awkward lie for his second shot across water at the par four hole. After much deliberation, he decided to lay up and then hit a wedge for his third shot 12 feet from the hole. Nicholson's birdie attempt came up just short, and David Toms sunk the 12-footer to win the championship. And so we have the left-hander against the right-hander, the aggressive player against the conservative, Phil Mickelson, David Toms. Both players are now on the first tee with our colleague, the LPGA Hall of Famer, Judy Rankin. Judy? Thank you, Jack. It's once again my pleasure to be associated with Shell's wonderful world of golf. We have a great match today with David Toms and Phil, Phil Mickelson, and this always proves to be a lot of fun and a good experience. Uh, David, 2001, the PGA Championship, you really had to face this guy down in a much more serious setting. Uh, tell us about today and how much fun you're going to have being part of history with Shell's matches. I'm looking forward to today uh, on a great golf course against a great opponent. Uh, as far as the PGA goes, uh, you know, we both uh, played good golf that day, so I think it was fun for the crowd and fun for us. And I uh, wasn't sure how I was going to handle it coming down the stretch, but was proud of the way I hung in there and, and battled field down the stretch and it was a lot of fun so I'm looking forward to getting back a little bit in the, into that setting today and uh, just playing good golf. We're really glad to have you. Phil you've been on a roll you've won your last two uh, shell matches 
a different setting today, though. We're in Florida at a golf course that doesn't seem so Florida-like, rolling and just beautiful. It really is a spectacular golf course. It has a, a lot of reminiscence from Pine Valley, and I think that it was done around the same time that Tom Fazio was doing the par three course at Pine Valley. So he was was there a lot, and I think he instilled or incorporated a lot of the characteristics from from there to here. It's a wonderful golf course, very penalizing if the, if you miss the fairway. So keeping it in play is going to be critical. Now let me introduce the referee for today, the Vice President of the United States Golf Association, Fred Ridley. Thank you, Judy, and welcome, gentlemen. Today's match will be a stroke play competition conducted under the rules of the United States Golf Association. If the match is tied after 18 holes, it will be deemed a draw. We're going to decide the honor on the first tee by flip of the coin, and David, I'm going to ask you to call the flip, and the winner of the coin toss will decide whether or not to have the honor on the first tee or give the honor to the other player, okay? David? You need to call oh. that, David, before it lands. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How far back, how far back trying, do we need to go? I was trying to decide what end of the field I want. All right. <laughs> One more time. We ready? Yes. David, call it. Heads. It's heads? You've yes. won the flip. I believe I'll hit first. Very good. Thank good you. luck, gentlemen. Play good away, luck, please. Good luck. Have fun. All right. <laughs> And so we're underway. Judy, let's take a look at this first hole. Jack, the opening hole at 406 yards won't play too long today. The waste area on the left side of the screen is 260 yards from the tee. If the players choose to hit a driver, it is certainly in play. But just a short iron into this green, maybe even a pitching wedge, a nice soft opening hole, we should see a birdie or two. And David Toms will be first. So both players in good shape off the first tee. The Pine Barrens course was opened in 1993. Tom Fazio, the architect, and green fees range from $40 to $120, depending on the time of day and the time of year. And of course, our prize money on this Shell's Wonderful World of Golf, $100,000 to the winner. The runner-up, $50,000 a tie will result in an even split of the money. Now, Mickelson's second shot. Phil with a nine iron here at the first hole. I uh, took the iron from the tee after seeing David Tom's shot with the three wood get close to that waste area on the left. Oh. This one a little towards the left side, really flirting with the left edge. Well, it stays on the cutting surface. Well, Judy, David did come very close to that waste area, but he's in pretty good shape here. Second shot. 131 yards. That's a pitching wedge. On a very good line. Mm. It's got to be short, huh? Now, Mickelson. Long birdie putt for Phil, um, close to 40 feet. Takes a big turn to the right very early in the putt and uh, straightens out just a little near the hole. Oh, oh, oh! Now that goes by a little further than he wanted. Now Tom's. Uphill putt for David Toms. Thank you. 
about to say that's good. I can't do that. <laughs> Par for David Toms. Thank you. It all never went right. And now Mickelson for his par. Woo. All right, a bogey at the first hole here for Phil Mickelson. Rather surprised. And so at the end of the first hole of play on Chell's Wonderful World of Golf, Phil Mickelson won over David Toms at even far. Did you know that Geico's whole 15 minutes thing? <laughs> that came from me. Really. My first idea was, in one quarter of an hour, your savings will tower. Over you, figuratively speaking. But that's not catchy, is it? That's not going to swim about in your brain. So I thought, what about 15 minutes, 15%? Serendipity. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Meet our new 100% mill completely optimized blackjack putter. We optimize everything. The center of gravity, moment of inertia, stability, weighting, balance, face pattern. That's everything, baby. I named it blackjack for all you golfers who enjoy a little cash on the line. Visit bxg.com to get your new blackjack putter and put the odds in your favor. BXG, nobody makes golf clubs the way we do, period. Hiring is challenging, especially for key roles. Finding the right people is a very difficult task. ZipRecruiter finds us the best people for the job. They sent my jobs to the top job sites and found people with the right skills and experience. We've hired everyone from accountants to project managers to field scientists. With ZipRecruiter, we get hiring results. ZipRecruiter. Rated the number one hiring site. Try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash golf. Light, light, camera, action. Are you ready for some action? The LPGA Tour is back with the Volunteers of America Classic. Thursday on Golf. Ready to receive the royal treatment? Golf Pass and TaylorMade are teaming up to give you a chance to win the keys to the kingdom. Experience the art of science and golf as you go inside TaylorMade's exclusive testing grounds for a one-of-a-kind fitting with the game's most advanced technology. You'll stay at the Fairmont Grand Del Mar in California, where you can test your new gear at their premier course. Plus, get a year's supply of golf balls from GolfBalls.com and more. Go to GolfPath.com slash The Kingdom Sweepstakes and enter to win. We're back at the par four second hole, and it looks like somebody's in trouble. Judy? Well, both players hit drivers off the tee here at the second hole. David Tom's in trouble to the left. Well, good and safe, but it'll be a tough four. Now Mickelson's second shot. Phil with just a beautiful shot from the tee. Ball sitting on a little bit of an upslope. This is a six iron, 170 yards. Well, the breeze laid down and uh, that ball flew the green. Just off the back, Judy, and a little bit of rough. Now David Tom's third shot. Big green here at the second hole. That breeze is up again back in David's face. 125 yards, that's a pitching wedge. Hole sits in kind of a low spot in the green. Beautiful shot. Oh, a lovely shot indeed. We ain't got it, didn't it? Now Mickelson, what kind of a lie does he have, Judy? Phil's ball sitting right on top of some heavy grass, but uh, the lie is good. He'll play this with a sand wedge. It is running away from him all the way to the hole. A very quick little chip. Come on. Stop. Come on. 
He leaves himself a little work for par. And now David Toms with some heavy work of his own. 15 plus feet for par. Nice par. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Well, Jack, the conservative play works once again for David Toms. Very nice par indeed, Judy, huh? Sit hard and right to left. Yeah. And now, Mickelson? Doesn't help that you've missed the short one uh, starting out at the first hole, but uh, hopefully he won't let that get in his mind, and a good stroke here. Yes. Very firm, back of the cup. So both players with pars at the second hole, and the score remains the same. And that brings us to the par three third hole, one of only two holes on this course with water. Judy? First par three of the day, 156 yards. David Toms with an eight iron. Good looking shot just to the right of the flagstick. Now Phil Mickelson with a nine iron. Boy, really a good looking shot in the air. Shot, nice shot. Thanks. It's a neat little par three right here, huh? It is a good cool. ball, isn't it? What about this green. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I thought he did a great job with this course, the way he used the bunkering to blend it in. And Do you think all they did was just dig up the grass and just leave the sand like it was? Possibly. Maybe bleach it a little bit or something? I think this was more the natural terrain. Right. So all they did was exactly what you said, kind of dig up the weeds and the pine needles and all that yeah. stuff. And That's what it looks like. How do you make a Pinot Noir taste like no other? Start with grapes from three California regions, push flavor in new directions, and put a bear on the label. Made like no other for a taste like no other. Mayomi, flavor forward. We need USAA insurance for this season. When being a fan on a budget gets tough, our agents do the legwork so saving on auto insurance is easy. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. If you're over 50, imagine you could turn back the clock on your stiff, achy joints 10, even 20 years. Imagine you could do this without products that just temporarily hide the symptoms. Imagine no more. InstaFlex Advanced. Get a complimentary sample just by texting WHOLE to 321321. InstaFlex Advanced is different because it targets the root cause of joint soreness and stiffness. It doesn't just cover up symptoms. Instead, it bathes your joints in its unique combination of five key natural ingredients found in no other product. Key ingredients backed by five clinical studies. InstaFlex Advanced is so powerful, you could have better knees in just one week. Maybe that's why it's number one at GNC. But you can only get your complimentary sample by texting WHOLE to 321321. Plus, text now and we'll include a tube of InstaFlex pain cream with its exclusive oxygenated oil for fast-acting relief from the pain of arthritis, back aches, and sore muscles absolutely free. Text H-O-L-E to 321-321. New York in the 80s was this melting pot. Breed was good. These five ambitious New Yorkers came along. What unites all of these people is vanity. You know it's all gonna come to a crashing halt. Get higher, baby. Once they crossed the line, there was no going back. Empires of New York, narrated by Golden Globe winner Paul Giamatti. Premier Sunday, 8 Eastern. CNBC, get yours.
We're back at the third hole. Both players hit very fine shots in here to this par three. Here's David Toms now for birdie. Downhill putt, it'll get it going uh, pretty quick right at the beginning, and I cannot see a lot of break. Nearly straight. No. Uh, gallery looking across the pond here as Mickelson now after that magnificent tee shot a chance for a birdie and to get back to even par. Fine birdie there by Phil Mickelson. David Toms made his par, and at the end of three holes, both players are even. That brings us to the fourth hole. Judy? The fourth is a par five, very short in yardage, 494 yards. An enormous waist area runs all the way down the right side. Should be an easy carry for these players, though. Prevailing wind normally at the players back here. The waist area is certainly in play, just short of the green. It's an elevated green but easily reachable in two. What a beautifully dramatic and interesting hole this is. Very reminiscent of Pine Valley. And here is Phil Mickelson. Oh. Well, all you see is sand and waste bunker. Uh, this one taking just a little turn to the right. Thanks. Now, David Toms. Go, Tiger. So, both players with a chance to reach this par five in two. Yeah, I thought I did. Tom's will be first. 227 yards for David Tom's as you look at all of the sand. All of the sand at this golf course is played as a waste area. Nothing is played as a bunker. That is a big high five wood. Going way right of the green, Judy. Don't know whether to have a shot or not. Now Mickelson. Phil now with a golden opportunity with David Toms in trouble. 200 yards up the hill over the large waste area. This is a six iron. And a beautiful six iron it is. It's pole high. Well, this is where David Tom's second shot ended up. Not too bad, is it, Judy? Well, David's five wood could have found an awful lot of trouble to the right of this green, but turns out to be not too bad a spot. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Oh, marvelous shot by David Tom's. He has that left for birdie. Playing it just perfect. And now Mickelson. Just inside of 30 feet, an eagle opportunity for Phil. Fairly flat putt till just a few feet short of the hole and then it begins to run away from him. Has to be careful of the speed. And Eagle three. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, that'll always bring a smile to your face, won't it? Now here's David Toms with a chance for birdie, but he'll still lose some ground. Yep. <laughs> 
So some fireworks here at this par five hole. An eagle for Phil Mickelson, a birdie for David Toms, and after four holes, Mickelson has a one-shot lead. Let's take a look at this eagle putt again. Look at the big break on it. So Mickelson has gone birdie eagle on the last two holes to take a one-shot lead on shells. Wonderful world of golf. for elves check now just in a dang coupon code hold your reindeer santa sammy whoa what's up i got a gift for you capital one shopping instantly searches for available coupon codes and automatically applies them just download it to your computer it's free whoa oh i have that saves me a bundle you have that mm -hmm. what so that get me off your naughty list are you off the naughty words yes oh, oh, oh. i don't think so capital one shopping it's kind of genius what's in your wallet For some of us, our daily journey is a short one. Save 50% when you pay per mile with Allstate. Pay less when you drive less. You've never been in better hands. Allstate. Click or call for a quote today. This is an immediate alert from Pintus and Mullins Law Firm. Attention, users of Roundup Weed Killer diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and other forms of cancer. The manufacturer of Roundup recently announced a settlement of more than $10 billion to settle these claims. If you or a loved one were exposed to Roundup and developed non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and other forms of cancer, you may be entitled to a substantial settlement. Call 800-202-9111 now or go to roundupclaimform.com. ADT's Black Friday sales event is here, and it's our best offer of the year. Save $500 on a customized smart home security system this holiday from the brand More Families Trust for quality and timeless protection. Call 1-800-ADT-ASAP today. The PGA Tour heads to Mexico's Riviera Maya as the FedEx Cup season heats up at the Maya Coba Golf Classic presented by Unifin. Thursday, 2 Eastern, on Golf. Light, camera, action. Are you ready for some action? The LPGA Tour is back with the Volunteers of America Classic. Thursday on Golf. Welcome back to Shell's wonderful world of golf. We're at World Woods in Florida, the Pine Barrens course and have a great match going on here between Phil Mickelson and David Toms. We're at the fifth hole. Judy, let's take a look. The fifth is a par four, 383 yards long, surrounded almost completely by waste area, giving it a very interesting look. I think the players may lay up here with a three wood because the layup area is the wide, generous area of the fairway. As you get nearer to the green, the fairway gets narrower and narrower. It will be a very short shot into this green, the hole located some 34 paces deep in the green. It's one of the deepest greens on the golf course. Mickelson on the tee. That's a three, three wood from Phil Mickelson. Heading just down the left, but should be perfect. It's just over that hump, it's in the fairway. You say something. Well, I kind of blocked it a little bit. The wind pushed it back in. A driver for David, just a very slight breeze helping, and from the left, elevated tee and a climb upwards towards the green. Boom. <laughs> one right, one left, but both players in the fairway. Uh, David, beautiful little wedge shot there. Gives you um, a little inner peace, though, when you know that your short game is as solid as your short game is. Uh, a little, little freedom when you're playing the hard shot like that. 
Oh, absolutely. I mean, anytime you have the confidence, you can get it up and down after a bad shot. You know, a lot of a lot of the general public, you know, they hit a shot like I did from the fairway, and they're so depressed over hitting a shot like that, they're not ready for the next one. And so there's a lesson to be learned there to, you know, go ahead and concentrate and get it up and down. My take on your game is that you have such beautiful tempo, and you're you're so capable of repeating it day after day that that really works well when it comes down to your short game. Yeah, I think I've improved that part the last few years, and it's definitely helped me get to another level of golf. And uh, something I tend uh, constantly have to work on and uh, and try to get better at it. Okay, this guy's making you work. Get after it. <laughs> all right, I'll try. Okay. <laughs> Good lesson for all of us there, Judy. Don't let a bad shot upset you. Now we're back in the fairway. David Tom's second shot. Oh, very deep in this green, 34 paces. 123 yards, that was a pitching wedge. Nice little soft draw. I almost come all the way back down. You know, I can't hit it 123 if I don't have wind in my face. I had to be coming this way. If I punch a wedge, I'm afraid it might skip okay. and go over. If I hit gap up the hill, stock would fly it. Uh, it's got to fly it right about right. And if it doesn't spin, which I don't think it will on these greens, it should be about right. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, I'll be honest. I was thinking not quite stop. OK. I Bill's ball right on the edge of a swale from a little drain. So it's a fairly steep uphill lie. Just a wedge shot. He has to throw it all the way back to the hole. Hold up, hold up. And he does just that beautifully, Judy. And he was so right with his game plan, that ball did not spin at all. Another birdie opportunity. Now David Toms. Well, a solid par for David Toms. Amy Mickelson looking on, cheering her husband as he attempts a birdie putt. Bill Mickelson has gone birdie, eagle, birdie, four under over the last three holes and has taken a two-shot lead. Mom, why do we always come here for the holidays? How did you find Great Grandma's recipe? We're related to them? We're Portuguese? I thought we were Hungarian. Grandpa, can you tell me the story again? Behind every question is a story waiting to be discovered. Thick, juicy, world-famous Kansas City steaks are gifts that sizzle. Steak is what your family and friends really want for a holiday gift. We bet steak is what you want, too. Let everyone on your holiday gift list enjoy the comforts of home during this special time of year with a Kansas City Steak Dinner. Head to KansasCitySteaks.com and use promo code HOLIDAY10 to receive 10% off your order and free shipping. We offer strips, fillets, and prime rib. All big, bold, and full of Kansas City Steak's one-of-a-kind flavor. We also have specialty cuts, like this long bone tomahawk steak. Kansas City Steak Company offers a huge variety of only the finest steaks, meats, side dishes, and desserts. 
Steak is what everyone really wants for the holidays, and Kansas City steaks are gifts that sizzle. Make your house the steakhouse. Head to KansasCitySteaks.com slash Holiday 10 or call 800-987-8325. Nineteen eighties New York. Five Titans redefined the American dream and changed the world we live in forever. Empires of New York. We're back at the Pine Barrens Chorus at World Woods for this Shell's wonderful world of golf match. We've come now to the sixth hole, par five. And on the tee will be Phil Mickelson, who has caught fire. He has just gone birdie, eagle, birdie. Second par five, that's a driver for Phil Mickelson. Just working toward the left side. Over the waist area, over the hill, and I'm not sure of the finish. Finish is fine in the fairway, Judy. And a chance to get home in two. David Toms. Driver also for David Toms. Beautiful tee shot. 532 yards here. And he, too, will have a chance to get home in two. There is our rules official, former United States amateur champion, Fred Ridley. Well, we had a little fun here. David Toms asked referee Fred Ridley to uh, check Phil Mickelson's ball to see if it was legal. Mm. From 236 yards. Stay back, sir. Sir, stay back. Beautiful shot by Tom. Back of the green. All the way to the back. Yeah. All the way to the Yeah. Thank you. Well, maybe good reason to check this golf ball. Phil just has a seven iron in his hand, 197 yards to this whole location. Position of the tee shot, perfect on the left side. Seven iron just left of the flagstick. Oh, oh, stop! Nope. And just off the green. Not a bad lie, though. Well, both of these players are really on their game today. They're giving us great entertainment, great shot making. David Toms from just the back edge of the green, a very delicate putt, really gets quick around the hole. This one for Eagle. Stop. Thank you. Phil's ball really sitting up. It's a very good lie. Lofted club to get the ball up the little slope, and this is the kind of shot you really might chip in. Oh, he almost did. So both players make birdie here at the sixth hole, and Phil Mickelson maintains a two-shot lead as we come to the par three seventh. Well, as you stand on this par 3 tee, you could be a lot of places and a lot of beautiful places. It looks like Pinehurst. It looks like Pine Valley. Beautiful par 3. 215 yards. Phil with a 6 iron. And it is a beautiful shot. Whoa. Textbook. Thanks. Thanks. Club. Save it now with one more club, and that's just about the difference in their iron game. This is a five iron.
pretty shot right towards the center of the green. Ooh. Oh, wow. Ah. And then just off the back. Man. Paul's supposed to go to the right. Mm. We take safety seriously. Like in the Hyundai Tucson. It can help protect the ones you love and the ones they love. From the brand who's won more total IIHS Top Safety Awards than Honda, Toyota, Nissan, or Subaru over the last five years. Feeling safe. It's better in a Hyundai Tucson. Get 0% APR plus $1,000 bonus cash or no payments for 90 days and your first two payments up to $1,000 on us. When the only thing that matters is being together, why not bring the holidays to a Verbo vacation home? Somewhere with more space to get even closer to the people you love. Your together awaits with Verbo. Advisor. To listen is to hear more than what's being said and offer the answers that make someone feel truly heard. I understand. Let's get started. Call a Dell Technologies advisor today. Wait, a hose? What kid wants a hose? It says hose. <laughs> it says horse, not a hose. So drink, get over here. <laughs> Service now, the smarter way to workflow. When we heard there was money in our home... We went looking for it. Oh, you did. I did. When you need cash out of your home and a simple way to get it, Rocket can. and TaylorMade are giving you a chance to win a one-of-a-kind fitting at the Kingdom. You'll stay and play at the Fairmount Grand Del Mar in California. Plus, get a year's supply of golf balls from GolfBalls.com and more. Enter to win at GolfPass.com slash the Kingdom Sweepstakes. The PGA Tour heads to Mexico's Riviera Maya. As the FedEx Cup season heats up. At the Mayakoba Golf Classic presented by Unifin. Thursday, 2 Eastern on Golf. Welcome back to Shell's wonderful world of golf. We're at the seventh green at Pine Barrens, and here is David Toms. What's he got, Judy? Good lie, very tough chip. David lays the blade open, has to just land it on the green. Beautiful. Lovely. Big putt for Phil to keep this going. He has gone birdie, eagle, birdie, birdie. This one for the third birdie in a row. In a hole. Oh. Oh. Well, it was lovely while it lasted. This is for par. Yes. Very firm, far for Mickelson. Now David for par. Safely in. Thank you. So two pars by our players, and after seven holes, Mickelson maintains a two-shot lead. Now we move over to the 8th tee. Let's take a look at this hole, Judy. When you stand on the tee of the par 4 8th, visually you get a sense of a dogleg to the right, but really the shot from the tee is straight away. It's advantageous for these players not to hit a driver because they need to stay on level ground. Even laying up will leave just a short shot into this green, not much more than a pitching wedge. The hole located in the front portion of the green today, but a place you feel like you must give yourself a birdie opportunity. And Mickelson still has the tee. Yeah. 
You're just looking for right Hang down on. the center of the fairway. Oh. That was a three wood. Oh. Okay. Nice. Yep, look out. That may be in the waist area, Judy. Now David Toms. Driver now for David. As you stand on the tee here at eight, the fairway actually sits a little bit higher than the tee, so players don't really see their ball land. Good straight one. Perfect position. One hundred and four yards for David Toms. Just the slightest breeze from his left a hole located right on the front of this green today. This is a sand wedge, and he'll want to fly it just beyond the hole. Very nicely done. And now, Phil Mickelson. Well, our first look at someone playing from the waste area. The big difference uh, the waste area makes for a player is you are allowed to ground your club. Not quite a full sandwich shot. Hit it a little thin. Little help coming backward. Good shot by Phil there, and gives him a chance for another birdie. And as usual, we get some help on the read here from his caddy, Jim Bones Mackay. Because it doesn't, uh, if you notice, the green kind of cross, it goes back. Uh, the second half of the putt kind of levels as opposed to the first half. I think that... Uh... Yeah, we want to go just inside his pool. Yeah. Think it's going to have a little extra rollout? Well, it's just going to have a little glide out as it was, you know, okay. as it, in the last eight feet or so. Okay. One last look at this. Just want to look at his coin here. I, I, I think that we. I actually think we need to go about over his coin. I don't think it's left of it. I think it's, I don't think it's gonna keep moving left at the hole though. I think it kind of straightens out. Right. I'm just worried about how much it's gonna go left before it gets there. No, I got it. Okay. I, I, I think it's okay. Actually, you may be right. Will you move that one, uh, probably one towards you? Can I get in there all right? Yeah, yeah, you're fine. I should be right over it. Don't yeah, move. It does move more left. <laughs> I really think it's going to go left pretty good. I think that when he moves his coin here. Aim right at it. That's Thanks. fine there. Now I think we want to go just inside. Yeah, I got you. Should be okay to get that, huh? Yeah, it's fine. Thanks. Well, if that wasn't a classic example of having the line correctly and never hitting the putt. Par for Phil Mickelson. Thanks. Mm. We had it right in the jaw, too. Now David Toms. Good opportunity for David Toms to pick one up here, and he didn't have to study the putt very hard. A good read from Phil. And he didn't hit it hard enough. But he would tap that in for par, and so at the end of eight holes of play, it's still Mickelson by two. Now on the tee, the Dry Tack series from Wind Grips. 
DryTac wins most popular model with traditional taper and weight. DryTac Wrap, classic true wrap grip with contour profile. DryTac Light, reduced weight for improved club head feel, swing tempo, and contact. And new for 2020, DryTac LT, a less taper profile and larger lower hand diameter. There's a DryTac grip for every golfer. Wind grips, the best grips in golf. Whoa, Susan. Oh. I'm looking for coupon codes. Well, Capital One Shopping instantly searches for available coupon codes and automatically applies them. It's called Shopping Smart, not hard. But I don't have a Capital One card. You should get one, but you don't need it for this. Just download Capital One Shopping to your computer. It's free. Ooh, save me some cheddar. So, when's the party? I love fondue. Really? I never joke about hot cheese, Susan. Me neither. Capital One Shopping. It's kind of genius. What's in your wallet? Geico makes the claims process so easy, I can file and manage my claim all in the Geico app. It's not just easy, it's giving your dog your fitness tracker easy. Ah, <laughs> oh, good boy. Yes, you got it. Woo! Already got my 40,000 steps today. <laughs> can I get a what, what? No pain, no gain. <laughs> It's Geico Easy with fast and convenient claim service. <gasps> Look how fast I'm running. Good boy, Chester. Hiring is challenging, especially for key roles. Finding the right people is a very difficult task. ZipRecruiter finds us the best people for the job. They sent my jobs to the top job sites and found people with the right skills and experience. We've hired everyone from accountants to project managers to field scientists. With ZipRecruiter, we get hiring results. ZipRecruiter, rated the number one hiring site. Try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash golf. We all have our own journey ahead of us, our own hopes and dreams. We'll pass many milestones, moments that define you and drive you to achieve even more. So celebrate everyone. Because success isn't just about where you want to get to, it's also about how you get there. Cut on rehearsal. The all-new 2021 Cadillac Escalade. Never stop arriving. Light, Light. camera, action. Are you ready for some action? The LPGA Tour is back with the Volunteers of America Classic, Thursday on Golf. Welcome back to Shell's Wonderful World of Golf. We're at the Pine Barrens course in Florida. We've reached the ninth hole. And on the tee, Phil Mickelson. Four twenty-four, a little feel of a turn to the right in the fairway. And Mickelson right in the middle of the fairway. David Toms. Another hole where the tee sits just slightly below the fairway, so once again, players do not see the landing area. This one working to the right. Oh, very much so. Oh, look at this. Hits a tree, hits the cart path, and right back in the middle of the fairway. How do you do? Nicholson now, second shot. Nine iron for Phil, 151 yards. Right towards the center of the green. All right. Lovely shot. Take about hole high. Total. 37 and 8 on that line. What's the wind? Nine still enough? Yeah, that should be fine. But they have 37 on the cover. And now the fortunate Mr. Toms. Good looking shot. Ooh, not enough. Uh, hit short, came back into the waste area. That was a wrong club. That line is short of the green. Is that much wind up there? 
Very soft sand in this waste area, kind of an awkward stance, and the ball has kind of dug its way in as it backed into the sand. Difficult shot. Stop, stop. A lot of sand up behind that ball. So David, after that good break off his tee shot, has found some more trouble. A couple of feet of fringe to roll this ball over in the beginning. It makes it tough to get a good feel for the distance. It's for par. Ooh. Good effort, good putt. But David will make bogey his first of the day. Now Phil Mickelson, who's had a brilliant front nine here, trying to cap it off with yet another birdie. Just from the left to the right. Oh, no. Got to hit it. So it would be a par at the ninth hole for Phil Mickelson and a bogey for Mr. Toms. Phil Mickelson with that brilliant stretch from the third through the sixth hole, finishing with a 32. And David Toms, two birdies and a bogey for a 35. Now here's Judy with our two players. Thanks, Jack. Well, David, we uh, we have completed nine holes here. You really played some pretty good golf, and the last hole was kind of funny. Uh, a good break and then a bad break in the bunker. Yeah, I fell asleep with my club selection there. Actually, he was posing on that second shot, and it got a little right of the pin, and obviously I didn't hit the right club. But uh, Phil got on a nice little roll there early, and uh, I didn't do much other than birding the par five, so hopefully I can get a little going on the back. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I called that shot in the air that it was a really good-looking shot uh, that ended up in the waste area. Well, sometimes they just don't work out, you know, even when you hit solid shots. And I uh, made a mental mistake there with the wrong club and paid for it. Uh, you are hot. I mean, you have been playing well for a long time, and you are playing well today. Well, thank you. I, I uh, had a nice little four-hole stretch there playing in a 500, which was really the, the front nine for me. So hit some good shots and got some good putts to roll in there. Uh, the putter didn't start out the best at the first hole, but you didn't let it play on your mind. You shook that off right away, made a great par putt at the second. Well, that was a big putt, the one at the second. After missing the one on the first, I needed to, to make that putt on the second to follow David's 15-footer uh, for par that he just made. Otherwise, I would have been two down and two over after two. So making that par putt gave me a little bit of momentum, and that's where the, the four-hole swing started, where I played those in five under and then just parred the last couple. So uh, we're gonna, we should have a good backside in store for us. Fellas, it's a beautiful golf course. Uh, we're watching a great match. See you in just a few minutes. Well, if they keep playing the way they played the front nine, we will have a great match on the back. Mickelson with a brilliant four under 32. David Tom still in touch with him with a one under 35. More golf in just a moment. I made it so easy to pay off my student loan debt. They were able to give me a personal loan so I could pay off all of my credit cards. I got my mortgage through SoFi, and the whole process is so easy. Choosing SoFi was literally one of the best decisions I could have ever made because it gave me peace of mind. Express yourself. How do you make a Pinot Noir taste like no other? Start with grapes from three California regions, push flavor in new directions, and put a bear on the label. Made like no other for a taste like no other. Mayomi, flavor forward. Today's new normal, face coverings are essential, even required in certain environments. Now there's CopperFit GuardWell Face Protector, our most advanced copper-infused fabric woven into a full face protector with a sure-fit, non-slip design to bring you peace of mind in today's uncertain world. An easy-to-breathe, thermal-regulated fabric with smart technology to keep you comfortable and cool. A lightweight fabric with UPF 30 face protection against harsh elements. And unlike disposable coverings, you can wash GuardWell Face Protector with soap to give you the clean face protection you need. Designed with smart technology fabric to keep you cool and comfortable all day. 
For a limited time, receive two Guardwell face protectors for only $19.99. That's two face protectors so you can wash one and wear one. Order online now at GetGuardwell.com or call 1-800-982-8856. Copperfit Guardwell face protector. Quarterback for the Packers. Linebacker for the Bears. They're not positions. They're reputations. Unrelenting offense. Unforgiving defense. So if you want to see the league's oldest rivals battle for the North on football's most hallowed ground, see you Sunday night. Bears, Packers on NBC. Welcome back to Shell's wonderful world of golf. And Judy, on that front nine, we saw that flash of brilliance that Mickelson's so capable of. Uh, he is so capable of it, and he's also capable of keeping it going. So mm -hmm. I think this uh, second nine could be very exciting. It should indeed, and we begin with a very daunting par three. And if you notice those bright spots on the green, they're caused by sand used to fill in ball marks and then brushed. But they do not interfere with putting at all. These greens are just perfect. Phil Mickelson. This par three, 184 yards. That was a seven iron. A little left and long. Scott, what do you think? Right? Slightly downhill. Slightly downhill. With some help, yep. What do you think that's playing 72-ish? Yeah, that'd be about right. Six irons gonna hit by the pin. Exactly. Exactly. It's okay? Yeah, I like that. So after that discussion, it'll be a seven iron for David Toms. Very, very high. Right on top. Good shot by David Town. Thank you. And this gallery seems to be getting larger as they get word of the great golf going on here as Phil Mickelson gets ready to play. Thirty-five feet or so, not much movement in this putt. Oh, sit. Sit. Ooh, a little strong. Oh, and a good eight feet left for Phil. And here's the Golf Academy at World Woods in action, open to people of all ages. Great opportunity for David to get the one that he lost at the ninth hole in a possible two-shot swing. Whoa, very nice birdie too. Thank you. Mickelson for par. Jack, a great deal of reading of this putt from Jim Mackay and Phil. Should be fairly straight. A little more pressure than a moment ago. Oh, no. Oh, a bogey at the 10th hole, his second of the day. And there's a two-shot swing. What, what were you uh, looking at? David Toms birdies and Phil Mickelson bogeys, and David Toms pulls within one. After 10 holes of play, we move now to the 11th tee. 
And here after his birdie is David Toms. David with the driver, the 11th hole, 403 yards, par four. This is a three wood. Nice and straight. Now that's what you want. Nice and straight. Mickelson be first to hit. Very testy hole location. But no problem for Phil, though. Great shot there, Judy. That was a nine iron from 128 yards for Phil. A little better angle to see this tough hole location for David Toms. 122 yards for David, and he has a nine iron in his hand. I believe he'll grip down on this just a little. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Okay. Another fine shot. My, these two are playing brilliant golf today. Right club, wrong direction. Good birdie at 10. This putt just a little shorter. Um, I was able to get right behind it, and I really can't see anything. Very straight. Oh. I should have played it. Huh? Now Mickelson. You know, I like straight. I'm going to play it straight. Par four for Phil Mickelson. Ah, uh, bless. Just shoved it. David Toms now for par. So after a birdie at 10, he gives it right back with a bogey at 11. And Phil Mickelson, once again, takes a two-shot lead. PNC is proud to bring families together for another year to prove that a shared passion for the game leads to shared memories that last a lifetime.
This is an immediate alert from Pintus and Mullins Law Firm. Attention, users of Roundup Weed Killer diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and other forms of cancer. The manufacturer of Roundup recently announced a settlement of more than $10 billion to settle these claims. If you or a loved one were exposed to Roundup and developed non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and other forms of cancer, you may be entitled to a substantial settlement. Call 800-202-9111 now or go to roundupclaimform.com. No matter the neighborhood, you'll always have that neighbor, the one who has everything except humility. To show up the show off, do you need power or this optimum power? Because Duracell Optimum makes this RC truck no. even faster than Copper Top. We have a winner. Woo! Upgrade your device with Duracell Optimum. Windows open, I'm yelling unity. Side by side with my community. Celebrate, let's have a jubilee. They've been there for us. Let's be there for them. Golf Pass and TaylorMade are giving you a chance to win a one-of-a-kind fitting at the Kingdom. You'll stay and play at the Fairmount Grand Del Mar in California. Plus, get a year's supply of golf balls from GolfBalls.com and more. Enter to win at GolfPass.com slash the Kingdom Sweepstakes. Welcome back to Shell's wonderful world of golf from World Woods Pine Barrens Course. A match now between Mickelson and Tom as we come to the 12th hole. And to tell us about it, here's Judy. The par 4 12th is a good straightaway driving hole, 470 yards from the tee to the green, a middle to a short iron into this green. But the interesting thing as we near the green is you see a green to the left and a green to the right. This is sometimes called a winter green and a summer green. We are playing the right hand green today, which is very much affected by the waist area short of the green. Putting surface is a punch bowl type green and very undulating. Well, as we pick up the action, both players have hit their tee shots and both have missed the fairway to the right. David Toms. Not any options for David Toms. Just going to take the ball back out into the fairway. That was a little seven iron and a lot of people hopping. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I'd clear the crowd out for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, you're not thinking eight. Shutting it, it's got to be enough, doesn't it? You would think? I would think so. I mean, obviously it's going to hook. Is it going to be particularly low, you think? No, I can get it a little bit higher, a me medium, medium height. Right. So we extend this branch arm. Bill's ball sitting pretty well in some short grass, even though it actually is the rough. Try to play a draw, try to turn it from the left to the right. That was a nine iron. Look, it needs a bigger sit, turn. Sit, sit. Good shot, though. Very good shot. Now, third shot for David. 133 up the hill. David with an eight iron. Go left. Keep going. Come on, more. Very nice. Now, after that magnificent second shot, here is Phil Mickelson for birdie. I bet Phil wants to start just up to the left of the hole. Uh, the slope will feed it down to the right, and it'll pick up speed. Ooh. 
A par for Phil Mickelson. Thanks. Good par for Phil. Really a grand escape from the trees at the right side. This one a good solid six feet. This one for par for David. Yes. Magnificent par for both of them. <laughs> Thanks. And so, after 12 holes, Bill Mickelson by two shots over David Toms. We move now to the 13th. Both players have hit their tee shots, and again, David's in trouble. David Toms to the right, trying to find a hole through the trees, and Phil Mickelson with a pitching wedge, 138 yards. Boy, well, he struck it very well. It really sounded good. Oh, stop. Struck it just a little too well. Well, David trying to picture a little shot that stays low, weaves under and through the trees. 132 yards, a little bump and run with a forearm. Uh, no. The very last tree it caught, uh, but fortunately came out um, just into some very light rough, so still a chance to make par. David's third now with a lob wedge is 81 yards, and the ball is sitting in a very tight, firm lie, one you can really make the ball dance with if you hit it properly. Yep. Long putt for par. Sure is, Judy. David getting a little adventurous off the tee these last couple of holes. Here's Mickelson. Well, the first 15 feet or so of this putt back uphill and, of course, several feet of fringe. One you're really just trying to roll close. Turn, turn, turn. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Toms for par. Just a little right to left break. Oh. He's got an awful lot of work left now for bogey. Mickelson with a chance to extend his lead. Yes. So Phil Mickelson with a par, David Toms with a bogey. And at the end of 13 holes, Phil Mickelson, three shots ahead. First came to Rick, shooting about maybe 105. I told him my goal was to just nice get better. Shot. And however, whether it's you know a long practice, playing lessons, I'm willing to do it. And years later, you know, he got me down to a single digit, and a lot of it was just listening to him and trusting the process. It's been a huge jump to go from averaging 107 to averaging 77, 76. Great holiday gifts starting at just $125. Okay, Limu, you said it. Then as I spike it, I'll tell them how Liberty Mutual customizes car insurance so they only pay for what they need. Got it? Did you get that? Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. 
ADT's Black Friday sales event is here, and it's our best offer of the year. Save $500 on a customized smart home security system this holiday. From the brand More Families Trust for quality and timeless protection. Call 1-800-ADT-ASAP today. Ten years ago, we found a Loan Depot because we were confident we could deliver the American dream of home ownership to individuals and families across the nation. There were only about 50 of us when we began. But we were inspired every day to do our best for customers just like you. And because of customers just like you, we've now grown to become one of the largest mortgage lenders in the nation. Serving more than 27,000 customers a month. Lowering payments, providing jobs, and investing in neighborhoods and communities nationwide. The reason that we've grown from 50 founding employees with a dream to now team members 8,000 strong is because we have never stopped believing in you. We know how important it is that everyone has opportunity. We know what it means to put down roots and bring dreams to life. At Loan Depot, we know home means everything. Quarterback for the Packers. Linebacker for the Bears. They're not positions, they're reputations. Unrelenting offense. Oh, what a play. Unforgiving defense. Down he goes. So if you want to see the league's oldest rivals yes. battle for the North Touchdown. on football's most hallowed ground, see you Sunday night. Bears, Packers on NBC. And we're back at World Woods. We've come to the 14th hole. Let's look at it, Judy. Well, Jack, we've come to the only par five on the back nine. It is 547 yards of par five, and the players today will drive the ball short of the waste area that crosses the fairway. This hole should be reachable in two, but a different kind of second shot uh, than we normally see these players play. This one needs to be shaped from right to left. The green is very deep, 45 paces from front to back, it plays like a small green because it is very narrow and it is bordered on both sides by waste areas. Okay, Judy, thank you. And here on the tee is Phil Mickelson. Big tree right straight away, a uh, good aim point, the left side of that tree. Boy, and this tee shot is right at the left side of that tree. Beautiful tee shot. Thanks. So what's that feel like to make a ball go flat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do that. <laughs> nice compliment. David, a little errant from the tee today. Looking for a straight one here at the last par five. Moving left. Yeah, the driver has let him down on the back nine, Judy. Let's see if that's in the waste area. Very awkward spot for David Toms. The ball below his feet in this waste area has to keep it underneath a tree limb. He's got a seven iron going to try to carry the ball over the next waste area. And that would have been a 120-yard carry, but this one uh, hits the face of the bunker, comes straight up, and he will play again. Like I said, not a good spot. Mm. Well, the second from the waste bunker was nearly impossible, and. He did not pull it off, so now his third shot into the par five. 225 yards. This is a three iron. Mm. David has a nice natural shot that moves right to left, and it would be perfect here. Well, that's the shot he has hit if it's the right club. Beautiful shot. Good recovery. Mm. And looking better all the time. He'll have a reasonable birdie attempt. 
And now Mickelson's second. 210 yards, this is a five iron for Phil. His second at the par five, he has had the upper hand all day, uh, still does right now, but this one is gonna find the right side. Oh, splash. Third shot. Good lie for one of the premier sand wedge players and certainly one of the very best sand players. <laughs> you scared it. So both players now have birdie pups. David first. Right edge putt and a great opportunity after a tough start on this hole. Get in. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> great four there. Thank you. Thank you. There's one way to do it, I guess. You bet nice. it is, David. <laughs> Looks the same on the scorecard. Now, Phil. Or birdie and the length that he works on all the time. Oh. Mm. A par for Phil Mickelson and a birdie for David Toms. And so at the end of 14 holes, David climbs back to within two shots of the lead. And that brings us now to the 15th hole. Let's take a look. Jack architect Tom Fazio really built a great short hole here at 15. For the average golfer, it plays as just a short par four. But for these players, it is an opportunity to try and drive the green. 300 yards to the front edge, waste areas short right and left, a great place to take a chance. Well, Judy, we'll see if they will take a chance. I think they will. There's such infinite variety in this Pine Barrens course, and Tom Fazio has designed a brilliant short par four here. Let's see what happens. Jack, this is the hole that this big crowd has been waiting for, wanting to see if these two players take a go at, a, at the green, and of course they will. David Tom's first. Looks like a long carry over the waste area, but it is, in fact, just 225 yards. Well, they got their thrill. <laughs> wow, David, what a great hey. shot. Look at this. Good <laughs> shot. Thank you. Thank you. Finally hit one. Give yourself something here, man. Yeah. Finally hit one on the right jerk. Caught it on the right jerk. <laughs> He sure did, David. And now Mickelson. Well, Phil had the driver in his hand, but he has now gone back to a three-wood. He thinks he can carry this three-wood to an area just short of the putting surface and get it to take a couple of good jumps. Not any breeze to speak of, but the little movement of air is probably helping. Well, absolutely straight. And comes to a halt. Could have gotten a little better bounce, but he's right in front. Yeah. Two fine tee shots here at 15. David Tom's on the green at this par four hole. And Mickelson just short, so eagles and birdies are quite a possibility. And we'll see what happens when we return to World Woods in just a moment. Electricity rates are high, and power outages are happening more frequently. Now there's a solution that will help you power your home, save money, and prepare for power outages. Introducing the Power Cell, a fully integrated solar plus battery storage system from Generac, the number one manufacturer of standby power products in the world. The battery storage solution in combination with the solar has been one of the best investments we've ever made. 
power cell captures and stores energy from solar panels, which can be used to power your home anytime. And during a power outage, the power cell will automatically send power to appliances that need it the most, allowing you to power more than just the essentials so you can stay comfortable and safe in your home. And best of all, your electric bill goes down and you save money. With the battery storage solution, we're saving about $450 a month. With more than 60 years of experience building backup power solutions, it's clear why the power cell outshines the competition, offering more storage capacity and overall power. In fact, the power cell has one of the largest storage capacities on the market today, which means you can power even more. And power cell is customizable, allowing you to expand your solar storage capacity as your energy needs grow. The Generac power cell is backed by a 10-year limited warranty warranty and supported by a 24-7 customer support team. It was a simple installation, very neatly installed. It was done very quickly and efficiently. Zero down financing is available with low monthly payment options. With federal tax credits and local energy rebates, you could save up to 26% off your purchase, adding to the savings you'll enjoy over time with PowerCell. Call or go online now to request a free quote. The call is free, the quote is free, and there's no obligation to buy. PowerCell is available now and ready to install. And if you act now, you'll receive PowerView, Generac's home energy monitoring system, a $300 value. Don't wait. Call or go online now. Power Cell. Savings powered by the sun. With Golf Pass, get $10 for golf every month and get a dozen tailor-made golf balls. Start your seven-day free trial now. Ready to receive the royal treatment? Golf Pass and TaylorMade are teaming up to give you a chance to win the keys to the kingdom. Experience the art of science and golf as you go inside TaylorMade's exclusive testing grounds for a one-of-a-kind fitting with the game's most advanced technology. You'll stay at the Fairmont Grand Del Mar in California, where you can test your new gear at their premier course. Plus, get a year's supply of golf balls from GolfBalls.com and more. Go to GolfPath.com slash The Kingdom Sweepstakes and enter to win. Welcome back to Shell's Wonderful World of Golf. We're at the 15th green, and Phil Mickelson will be first to play. Many players would take a straighter face club and hit a long chip and run here, but Phil with a sandwich. Threw it up in the air just a little bit, lets it run out. Look. Beautiful shot. <laughs> Almost an eagle, too. Good shot. Good one. No question about it. Mickelson can make things happen. 33. Goes to four under. Thanks. That wouldn't have sucked at that drop, huh? Like good, And now David Toms with a chance to make up some ground. Pick up a stroke anyway. Great opportunity for an eagle too, right up the hill. Get in. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get oh my. <laughs> A three for Tom's. Two birdies here at the 15th hole. And Phil Mickelson maintains his two shot lead. As we move now to the 16th hole. The 16th hole is a long par three. And David Toms has some happy memories of a long par three in the 2001 PGA Championship in the third round at the 15th hole. A beautiful swing. And watch this magic. Hole in one. And there he went on to defeat Phil Mickelson for the title. Can he make it happen again? Well, Judy, what about this hole? 219 yard par three as we look back from the green to the tee. David Tom's on this slightly elevated tee with a forearm. All the trouble to the right. 
Come on, Bank. Get it, Bank. Start at this one well left. Come. And that's where it stays, Judy. Come on. Left. Now Mickelson. Slightest breeze at the player's back. The tee very well protected, though I'm not sure that they can feel that breeze. Fill with a five iron. Using the slope just a little. Very nicely played. Now, David Toms. <clears throat> Just two strokes between our two players. David Toms now with this long birdie attempt. Very, very fast. It's going to sweep from the left to the right. Hello. Hello. Mm. I just hit it too hard, I think. I just died it there more. Good speed and a little bit of an overread. Looking on is Joey Rassett, the tournament director who has done so much to make this match happen. Now Mickelson. Good putt for birdie, fast putt, just get it rolling. Big putt for David Toms. One of the very smooth putting strokes on the PGA Tour. Oh. Oh. Just a little too high. Let's take another look at it. it looked like he hit it beautifully. Stroked it well. And it was a little high. Now for bogey. So a bogey for David Toms, a par for Phil Mickelson, and at the end of 16 holes, Phil now is three shots ahead. We'll be back in just a moment. Hey! Yeah? I switched to Geico and got more! More savings on car insurance! They helped with homeowners, too! Okay. Plus, motorcycle, boat, and RV insurance! Geico's got you covered. Like a blanket. Houston, you seeing this? Geico. Expect great savings and a whole lot more. Johnny, that's better than most. How about him? That is better than most. Better than most. To show up the show off, do you need power or this optimum power? Because Duracell Optimum makes this RC truck even faster than Copper Top. No! We have a winner! Windows open, I'm yelling unity. Side by side with my community. Celebrate, let's have a jubilee. They've been there for us. Let's be there for them. If you're looking for the latest electronics, kitchen essentials, clothes, toys, and more, you'll find it all at Fingerhut. You do you, and we'll help build your credit at Fingerhut.com. Fingerhut credit accounts are issued by WebBank, member of DIC. 1980s New York City. Five titans didn't just take a bite out of the Big Apple. 
They took the whole damn thing. Do it! Quarterback for the Packers. Linebacker for the Bears. They're not positions. They're reputations. Unrelenting offense. Unforgiving defense. So if you want to see the league's oldest rivals battle for the North on football's most hallowed ground, see you Sunday night. Bears, Packers on NBC. We are back at the 17th hole at World Woods and on the tee, Bill Mickelson. Three wood with a little bit of a draw on it. Waste area over there to the right. It looks like he might have gone into it, Judy. Gotta get bounced in it, huh? <laughs> One of the few errant tee shots he's hit all day. Now David Toms. Three wood for David Toms. And a beautiful three wood. It should be absolutely perfect. And it is. Good lie for David Toms. This is an eight iron. It's 144 yards. Beautiful fairways. The ball has just sat perfectly all day. This one left of the flagstick. And goes to the back of the green. No confidence in how far the ball is going. Uh, Mickelson. Lob wedge for Phil from the sand. Um, very difficult shot that he has to draw. Has to hit from the left to the right. From 113 yards, and uh, no turn on this ball at all. It'll be well left of the green. Got wrapped up in the trees, came out in front. And he should be all right, Judy. Now a third shot for Phil Mickelson. Well, for most people, this would be very risky. The ball is sitting on some sandy hard pan. Bill's playing it with his L wedge. Good shot, good execution. He actually used the L wedge much like someone else would use a nine iron. He is a magician, isn't he? Now David Toms, Judy. Caddy Scott Neiser looks at this long birdie putt with David Toms. They really need a two-shot swing hole right here to have a chance on the final hole to square this match. Yes, he does. Is he going to make it? Is he going to make it? Oh, there might be some question about par. Much to David's surprise, he was the first putter, and now he uh, is the second putter. Mm. Thank you. All's well that ends well, Jack. Oh, indeed, Judy. What a brave putt that was. Now Mickelson. Well, this would be a great save for Phil Mickelson after the three-wood into the right-hand waist area. 
Oh, oh. Now, we're not done yet here. This is for bogey. Yes. Well, a bogey for Phil Mickelson, a par for David Toms. And Phil Mickelson will take a two-shot lead going to the final hole. We're at the 18th. Let's take a look at it, Judy. Well, Mr. Whitaker, as we take this match home, we come to one of the best par fours on the golf course. 446 yards of sweeping dogleg to the left. It is very important to position your tee shot well off the tee. You have to turn it just around the beginning of this waste area and then a shot of 170 yards or so into this green where the hole is located in the dead center of the green today. This is a very good finish. It's been a very good golf course, Judy. All 18 holes have been fabulous, different, infinite variety, great challenge, and it's fitting it should end on a hole like this. David Toms. David with a three wood. <coughs> Hung it well out to the right, but uh, that is the place to leave it on this 18th hole on this finish. Phil Nicholson going with a two iron here at the final hole. So many people from this area have come up to me today and remarked about how they love this golf course. What a pleasure it is to have it in their area and a place where they can play year round. Beautiful shot from Phil. And it does get a lot of play, Judy. It's a marvelous facility. Both the courses here. So both our players are off the final hole and we'll be back to see who wins this match and the trophy presentation in just a moment. For Rolex and golf, it all started with the big three. Supporting its legends, its future stars, and the championship moments that continue to inspire the next generation. Rolex will always be part of this enduring sport. Here's what it takes to make the world's finest golf clubs. Unlimited time, money, passion. Start early, stay late, dream big, lose sleep, lose patience, never lose focus. Ignore what's been done before, ignore the haters, over-analyze, over-agonize, never accept good enough until forgiveness, performance, and feel are absolutely amazing. BXG, nobody makes golf clubs the way we do, period. Did you know you can go to LibertyMutual.com to customize your car insurance so you only pay for what you need? Really? I had to... <laughs> okay, I'm on vibration. <laughs> only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. How do you make a Cabernet Sauvignon taste like no other? Start with grapes from three California regions, push flavor in new directions, and put a bear on the label. Introducing Mayomi Cabernet Sauvignon. Mayomi, flavor forward. You've seen the cool graphics and heard all the science behind the new Callaway Maverick drivers and irons. But if you want real proof on how the Maverick clubs perform for you, get to your nearest golf tech and see for yourself. Great holiday gifts starting at just $125. Visit golftech.com slash gifts to learn more. The PGA Tour heads to Mexico's Riviera Maya. As the FedEx Cup season heats up. At the Maya Coba Golf Classic presented by Unifin. Thursday, 2 Eastern on Golf. Ready to save more this holiday season? At Tee Off, you'll find the best deals for you. For a limited time, and save 20% off select tee times when you book now. Just use promo code BLACKFRIDAY. And remember, 
At tee off, you're always on the tee. Fee free. Download the app or go to teeoff.com and book now. Tee off. One hundred and eighty-six yards, the final shot of the day from the fairway for David Toms. This is a six iron. Hole located right in the center of the green. Thank you. Beautiful shot. Thank you. But he's trailing by two. Now Mickelson. Phil, three under par for the day. 181 yards here at 18. This is a seven iron. And this large gallery now begins to gather around the final green to applaud these two gentlemen who have given us a fine exhibition of golf. I love the way they use the bunkering or the sand. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. Elements. I think it's fantastic. These little bushes and crab or sawgrass in them. Yeah. Stuff is nice. I think it's awesome. Huh? That's some good work. Well, some nice words for the architect there. Mickelson will be putting for birdie first. He leads by two strokes. Slippery, fast putt. Just wants to nestle it close. On. That's his mother and his daughter and his wife. And now David Toms for birdie. It would be nice to make this one and make it just that much tighter. And he does do it, doesn't he? He's at two under, and Mickelson now putt for par. To win by one. Thank you, Jordan, man. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Thanks, man. Pleasure. Thank you very much. All right. Scotty, thank you. Ball sex. Oh, Ball sex, man. That was fun. I'd like to do it again sometime. That was fun. I hope, I hope we can. All right. Sounds good. We'll have our chances. That's right. That's right. Well, they certainly enjoyed the day, and we hope we'll have them back soon. There's the front nine scorecard. Nicholson going crazy there through three, four, five, and six. Finished with a 32. And that really was the match. Phil cooled down a little bit on the back, but David Toms had three bogeys and four birdies, including one on 18 that helped make the match a little tighter. Phil Mickelson, 68, David Toms, 69. Now let's look back at that marvelous stretch of holes that Phil Mickelson had, starting with the par three, third hole. 
Marvelous tee shot. And that birdie got him to even par after a first hole bogey. Now at the fourth hole, after a magnificent second shot to the par five, this putt for an eagle three. Yes. Oh, he liked that. Then a pitching wedge at the fifth hole. Thank you very much. And now the putt. And at the par five, six. Third shot. And another birdie that made him five under in four holes, and that was the match. Now let's go down to Judy Rank. Thank you, Jack. Well, we've had another wonderful day with Shell's wonderful world of golf. World Woods has been terrific. David, it is wonderful to have you chronicled now in the history of Shell's wonderful world of golf. Around a 69 was pretty good playing, and the birdie at the last put a little pressure on the guy here. Uh, yes, I really enjoyed the day. Uh, thanks to Shell for sponsoring the event and also to World Woods for hosting us. Uh, also to the crowd, they were absolutely fantastic. And when I run, when I actually had a bad run there on the backside and was kind of down on myself, they kind of kept me going and kept me in it. And uh, it was fun to have their support. Um, just seeing this many people out following one group. I don't even know on the PGA Tour if we get this many actually following one group. And uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, obviously, playing against Phil was, uh, was fun for me. I mean, we've battled a few times now, and uh, hopefully I'll get the chance to do it again sometime soon. <laughs> Phil, six times in this setting. I've been with you a few of those times, but uh, this has been a very special golf course, and uh, you're on a run of three wins in a row. Well, after losing my first three matches, I, I'm very fortunate to have come back and won the last three and even the record. Uh, I've played against some very difficult competition, and David Toms is as good as anybody in the game of golf today. He, he's uh, played some wonderful golf the past few years, winning the PGA last year, shooting 63-64 the final two rounds in New Orleans to win. Uh, and to beat me there, too. So it was nice to be able to get just a little bit of a jab back at him. He's had a pretty good run against me. I, I really did enjoy this event. The, the golf course here is spectacular. And what's really amazing to me is how the game of golf has reached so many communities. I, I was really surprised and really appreciative of how much support this community showed us and, and really made this event a special event for us. Thank you, Phil. You all um, have a lovely relationship on the golf course. To my far left, let me recognize Miss Ishihara, who is here representing the World Woods Golf Club. Uh, we have had a lovely day. Thank you very, very much for your hospitality. And Dave Ole here with the Shell Oil Company. Well, thanks, uh, Judy. What a, what a great day uh, to be part of the Shell Wonderful World of Golf. We're glad to be here, glad to be uh, here in this great community. First of all, I'd like to uh, thank all the spectators here. Let's give all the spectators a round of applause. They sure deserve it. On behalf of Steve Miller, our president, chairman, and CEO, we want to thank uh, the golf course, the players, Phil, David, for a tremendous match. We've always said we're going to bring the two best golfers to the greatest courses, and we sure proved that today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very Phil, much. Yeah, thank you. We'll see it. you. Yeah. Appreciate your support of the event. Thank you. Well, Mr. Whitaker, we've had a wonderful golf course, a wonderful day, great, great crowd, and you can take us home now. Thank you very much, Judy, and thank you, David. Thank you, Philip. It was just great to see your great display of talent on this fine golf course. You know, Phil made a very good point. When he first saw this place, he compared it to Pine Valley, that jewel of a course in the New Jersey Pine Barrens. There are many reasons for this. The topography in both places is the same. And Tom Fazio, the architect of this Pine Barrens golf course, is very familiar with Pine Valley. His late uncle George, for years, represented Pine Valley on the PGA Tour. And of course, the first ever Shell's Wonderful World of Golf ever aired was played at Pine Valley. 
So in a way, we've come home here today, and we thank you for it. Again, Judy, thank you. Thank you, players. I'm Jack Whittaker. We'll see you next time on Shell's Wonderful World of Golf.